a big part of our research in the last 25 years has been, uh, you know, to DSRP makes all these predictions about these patterns and, and what they uh, what they mean. Mm -hmm. And so, like, one of the predictions is that, that, that this is a form of organization that occurs naturally in yes. the real world. Yes. Right. So we wanted to test that prediction. Yes. And we find that it does. Hundreds and hundreds of research studies show across the disciplines that that it, that these patterns exist. Then we wanted to show that they existed in the mind. Mm -hmm. So we have some research. So we have that. research around that. And then we wanted to show that if you're aware of them, they have a an effect. So we mm -hmm. call that existential versus uh, effect or affective uh, research. Yep. Right. Yep. And. Um, so we wanted to show that they exist in mind and nature, or mind and reality, and that if you're aware of them, it actually increases your effectiveness. Yes, and whatever. And then we wanted to show, we wanted to understand how we're biased. That's right. And so we've done a lot of bias studies. We want to show how people think about these things, tend to think about them, tend not to think about them. Um, in lots of different situations. And then we wanted to show, well, what can you do to actually get good at these things? So we know that it's effective, but w can we get you more effective by practice? Right. And the research on that is just mind boggling. Yes. Yeah, so needless to say, we've been busy. Yeah. <laughs> we've been Over the last few decades. Yeah. <laughs> we've been busy. So let's start, um, let's start with relationships as a pattern we see in nature. Yes. So we reviewed, as you said, hundreds of studies mm -hmm. looking at these things. We had a couple of examples that I thought were interesting, one of which was a short video you sent me of um, synapses. Or yeah. Neurons or. Yep. They're, neuron, they're neurons that are in, um, you know, basically Petri dishes. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting if you put, you know, a single neuron in a Petri dish it'll try to branch out. It'll, it literally will try, it'll do its darndest to relate to stuff, even if there's nothing. It's kind of sad if you look at this little neuron because he's like, hello, hey, hello. hello, is anybody out there, you know? Yeah. And uh, he's lonely and he wants to connect, Yeah. right? And that is, things want to connect. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite biologists, Lynn Margulis said, said life did not overtake the planet through combat. That's right. But through relationships. Yep. Through connection. Yep. And that is deeply true about evolution and um, life on this planet is that, uh, you know, we, we're not just, you know, killing each other mm -hmm. uh, life-wise. We're, we're really actually deeply connective yeah. And nature is deeply connected, which is why ecologies form. And yeah. um, we see all these interdependencies and webs of life yeah. because of connections. So, so when you see those things, remember that at the base of all those things is, is relationships. Yes. So when you, you know, like I was saying, when you put a, a single neuron in a feature dish, that's what happens. But when you put a couple, they connect with each other. They find each they other. They find each other. And they start and those, to interact. And those relationships are material things in and of themselves that are mm -hmm. distinctly different than the neurons, right? Because they're, they're exchanging electrochemical signals and yeah. things like that. So they're, each relationship is a material process that is quite complex. Yes. And that's true for all the relationships yes. in the universe. Well, and you can imagine that's exactly why Facebook became so successful. Yeah. Because all humans are looking to connect and make yeah. bigger and bigger networks. The science of networks, yeah. the you know, complexity, all these things. Um, you can even see, believe it or not, along those lines, you can see videos of whole um, galaxies interacting. Mm -hmm. One galaxy interacting with another galaxy and forming an, an actual relationship between these two galaxies. 